Line li- oh. Get out. <laughs> mm. Keep scrolling, Papa. Let me keep scrolling. This video has been brought to you by STEM Merge. More information at the end of the video. Meme! Review! Meme! Review! mathematicians really come back to our video i'm so excited it's a special day today my collaboration with sexstar69 and myself obviously finally started we just now today launched stem merge more information at the end of the video just to make sure you know what's going on the engineering clock for example is now available indefinitely also, there's going to be stuff available like exclusive 3D prints in the near future like this sexy infinity cube or maybe some science toys, Newton's cradles. Like I said, more information at the end of the video. You can find the link down there at the top of the description. It's time for meme review and do you know what I hate the most about memes? That they are being overused to a huge extent. And most of the meme sites out there actually just steal memes from other sites. I'm talking about you each and every second Instagram meme page. It's really annoying, don't do that. And I found out about some new kind of very special meme page. It's called Uncomfortably Cursed Math Memes. It's there on Twitter and we're going to take a look at a few memes of this guy. I don't know who he is. I, I really have no idea, but he's posting really dank memes all the time. Original ones, not stolen anyway. It's so amazing. And after that, we're going to take a look at uh, regular ones on Reddit and Mathematic and Mathematic memes. So I hope you are going to enjoy this video and we're going to dive right in. So this guy here got some really fresh memes going. It's amazing how he comes up with so many memes all the time and sometimes they are not even funny but he posts them anyway it's, it's ridiculous but sometimes they are really good this first one isn't even a meme but it's fabulous do you see this matrix here well if you square this thing you're going to get just the digits out in pairs of two so it's 11 times the original matrix maybe i'm going to make a video on this on uh, <laughs> mathematics gone wrong done right other than that mm. It's a set with the <laughs> positive integers from 1 to 2 with dot 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 there. It's kind of uncomfortable to be honest. That's a great meme, gotta admit that. Did you know that a few days ago he actually put a little poll here and at first the word math was winning but then maths, maths has won. Thank you Matt Parker, it's just because of you because your vote triple counted. Thank you so much for saving the English language. <laughs> This is one of my most <laughs> This is one of my most favorite physics memes out there. It's just mm, I was using this phrase in, in one of my skits too. I, I think it was proofs in university maths be like. Um, number two, F equals M times A. Thus it's easy to see something with the Lacrosse. A fucking great scooter would then know that the theory of everything have, has this here. Um, I think this is just a generalized, um, that a generalized work like with the Lacrosse in there and all like the tensors. Um, I don't know what it's called exactly, but it's extremely funny. I just love this like a fucking great scooter would then know phrase. It's just, it's, it's just university maths in a nutshell. At first you're having school mathematics. After that, you are going to get yourself undergrad physics, mathematics, whatsoever, and then suddenly grad school, mathematics, physics, and it's just blowing everything out of the window that you knew before. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> this guy here had a transpose meme saga going, and one of those was um, a transpose being infinity. He, he actually posted this before um, as a little uh, text-based tweet, but but he thought, uh, yeah, putting this into a picture would also make it. 
Did you know if you're tired of boiling A water, <laughs> what is the metric unit of A water? Every time you make a pasta, to save time, you can boil a few gallons at the beginning of the week and freeze it for later. Isn't that a great tip? I never thought about this before, but I tried it out and it worked. But it only works for pasta. So, so if you want to boil potatoes, it doesn't work. It only works for pasta water. So keep this in mind. Here we have the first big brain meme. Namely that the derivative of the cosine of pi is negative sine of pi. And here you know what the worst thing is, it's actually true. It's actually true. And it's kind of amazing that it's true. I mean, this is kind of cool because we are differentiating a constant and well, sine of pi is nothing but zero. So, so it does work out, but it's just cool. Um, you would get the same result kind of if you substitute x for pi. So, so this makes it kind of magical here. And I think that's a really big brain meme. And someone actually sent it to me. This, someone actually sent it to the guy here, to the admin of this Twitter page. Um, and he thus posted it. So thanks to the guy who sent it to the um, Twitter owner here. <laughs> <laughs> I actually forgot about a few jokes already that, that um, have been posted here on this page, but <laughs> I really like this one. Me, ever heard of the imaginary unit, electrical engineer? Yes. <laughs> like the video if you get it, post your big brain comments down there. I dare you, if you understand it, big peepee, -pee, okay, big peepee -pee time. And for some odd reason, I don't know why not too many people got triggered about this one. It triggers the hell out of me if, if the small part of the 8 is on the downside. It's just not aesthetic to look at. I don't like this. I hate it. I hate when this ha happens and it's just pure horror in my opinion. It just doesn't look good. It's not nice. Don't do that. <laughs> is 4269 a prime number and yes Wolfram Alpha says it's a prime number and <laughs> and the guy here to the admin taught him perfect moves Wolfram prouder yeah and if I remember correctly um, Wolfram Alpha actually replied to this um, I thought it was pretty funny the, the Wolfram Alpha admins are pretty good actually they are they are a lot of fun to, to deal with they are some real meme lords going on here yeah like a little sponge for me ah <laughs> <laughs> well from Alpha. Are they following the page already? No, they don't. Give a follow please well from Alpha if you see this. G give a follow please. It ain't wrong though. I mean, it kind of does, but it ain't wrong though. This is kind of cancer. But what's coming next is an absolute gem. This is why I don't like the Americanized times notation because shit like this could happen. Teachers out there or students, have you ever put the X on the chalkboard? This is the reason why I'm doing the X like um, kind of weird in a calligraphic way because I don't want people to mistake like the times notation with the X. One of my most like, one of the guys most like tweets and well deserved, well deserved. This is an absolute issue. You should fix this America. You should fix a bunch of things. But before you fix Trump and all this shit, you should fix yourself the times notation. All right? Mm. Really high IQ meme. I'm not gonna explain what it means, but if you understand, you're a really high IQ boy, all right? It's not easy to understand, it's one of my most high IQ memes on this page. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> this was also a submission. Transpose meme saga. A transpose is just a sleeping ace. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious if you ask me. This is just really dumb fuck notation and everyone should use this. <laughs> in their mathematical papers. If you show this to your students, I'm not certain if they, if they really like this. They, they gotta be kind of skeptic about what you got here. Mm. Why would you integrate over C? It's not nice, it's not nice. C is there for constants. <laughs> uh, this <laughs> This reminds me so much of the good old lab times at my university. You know, you have studied physics. If you put all those points into one perfect line, you got your measurements, but you know what you are striving for. Want to find out the gravitational constant? Mm, your measurements completely fail. 
what you expect them to be. Well, no problem there. Just change your <laughs> measurements and you are going to get yourself a better regression. This right here is absolutely terrible, but still pretty funny. I mean, it's not even really connect dots. It's just putting a line straight into something. <laughs> it's just absolutely good. Okay, last few memes and trust me on this one. I'm, I'm something of a scientist myself, but time definitely has a direction. Okay, if we talk about the way S, no, not having a direction. I mean, you couldn't really point anywhere if you just want to go along <laughs> a straight line or something, but time definitely has a direction. Oh, absolutely amazing. This meme, this cut for a second meme is, is, is seriously funny. It's, <laughs> it's even better if you take a look at the version of Bill, uh, Dylan Berger. I didn't know that he posted something of that sort before. Um, if you just differentiate Yoda with respect to T, you are going to get the imaginary unit out on the other side. This is pretty funny already, but here I double dot. I, I don't want to be naive here, okay? Naive whatsoever, but this right here is absolutely good to And you can actually find this on a piece of merch over on STEM merch. Keep scrolling, Papa Flemmy, keep scrolling. Mm. F equals to A times M. This is cancerous. This is absolutely cancerous. It's it's amazing. I should get myself a t-shirt of this. It's, it's, it's just like the pi squared equals T thing, like the truth. This right here is the inevitable truth. Trust me. If you put this onto your physics exam, you are going to get zero points. I promise you. Multiplication is not commutative, doesn't hold for physical laws, all right? And here's the last one, which is one of my most favorite memes on this page. And I'm leaving the thinking up to you. It's a really big brain meme. Now we're going to go over on Reddit and see what they got for us. At first, I gotta go through a few top rated May Mays. I haven't looked at this page in quite a while, so maybe the memes are pretty fresh. And after that, we're going to take a look at a few new ones. So at first, integrate 8 over 8x to the third power minus 6x minus 1. Alright, yeah, Wolfram Alpha is goofing out at some point sometimes, so expressions can be pretty horrible over on Wolfram Alpha. Sometimes your integration is better. If you beat Wolfram Alpha, you have basically um, won the internet, as people from 2005 meme communities would say. <laughs> bah, come over, me. I can't, we are linearly independent. My parents are under tow. Me. <laughs> uh, projection reacts only. That's a good one. That's a good one. I should um, save this one, steal it and put it at the start of my YouTube video. That ain't funny. Why has this nearly 4K upvotes? I don't understand, but this is not funny. I don't think that this is funny in any way. And who the fuck writes his tea like this? Looks like a... Like a I don't know, like a stick figure. Get the fuck out. <laughs> when you're peacefully taking a shit. <laughs> and you realize why the answer to question seven was B. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think that the phrasing of the meme is, is way funnier than the meme in itself. I have never seen a meme starting with when you're peacefully taking a shit. But <laughs> this is really funny. Not gonna like it, admit that. Line li oh. Get out. Integral and outigral. I never thought about this, to be honest. Um, how would you get to yourself the autocrill? Doesn't make any sense, right? I mean, for most functions, it would just be divergent. This meme is making me think. I mean, it's not funny, but it's making me think. I mean, like the autocrill would be infinite. For, for example, for the sine or cosine waves. Does there exist an autocrill which is finite? I don't think so. I don't think so since the R2 has... I don't think so. No, no. I 
I did not have read it. <laughs> the memes were absolute shit over there. Goodness, what has become of this meme page? We're going to take a look at mathematical mathematic memes now. When you have to keep reading the same proof because you can't focus. Fuck. Yeah, that is terrible. I hate when the proof is like five pages long or even longer and you just lose track of what was going on and you have to start over again. It's, it's absolutely terrible. Mathematics can be a real bitch sometimes. <laughs> when you're completely broke but somehow manage to keep your shit together. I had to take a look at this twice because I didn't know why it could flow but yeah always uh, obviously at the handle. Okay okay uh, that, is, that is kind of beautiful okay. It's, it's keeping up, it's keeping up with what it has to do. You can still put some liquid in there and, and it will hold. It's good, it's good. Me, mum, can we get subsets of G? Mum, no, we have subsets at home. Subsets at home. <laughs> Just the trivial ones, oh, no one needs those. We don't need those trivial subsets. Feels kind of stolen. I have posted one of that kind before, but I think it was with subgroups. Yeah, I have posted this one with subgroups before. You filthy slut. You filthy slut. But still a good one. My inner thoughts. Don't be awkward. Just say something normal. Also may. GN is not equal to NG. This is so sad. Group theoretical reacts only. Goodness. This is really sad. The left and right cosets aren't equal. Oh goodness. Oh, oh no, <laughs> that's a normal subgroup, do you understand this? <laughs> this makes me so sad. For every upside down A, there exists a backwards E. Yes, exactly. Yeah, okay, for every is okay. It would be better if there were a, like for, for all instead for every, but, but I let it count. Kinda okay, kinda okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was waiting for the enslaved to come, but yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. E. <laughs> this always gets me. I, I think it's kind of funny. Just the letter E in itself is, is pretty funny. I mean, what do you expect as an answer? E. It's just E. It's funny, okay? It's funny. This bitch boy! He stole this meme from me. I have posted this on Twitter before him. This is not okay. But it's still a good meme. Identity theft. I was the first one to post this. <laughs> People stealing my memes left and right everywhere without giving credit. What shall I do? What shall I do? I do the same thing. You know? But I don't repost them on meme pages. I spread them around the world on my videos. That's a difference. That's a difference. <laughs> what? <laughs> Finally, if or only if. <laughs> if or only if. <laughs> why is there a T? I don't get why, why there's a T in the meme. I don't understand why, why there's a T. Please, someone explain to me, but other than that, it's a funny meme. <laughs> me reading a proof. QED, obscure footnotes, bad notation, free letters, <laughs> supplementary axiom. <laughs> yes, this is not a lemma, that's a supplementary axiom. Never heard of this term before, but, <laughs> but it's funny. Skipped steps, references behind paywalls. Oh, references behind paywalls, they are the worst. <laughs> It's just like the proof by self reference. This is so good. This is so good. Uh, and it's also so true. <laughs> oh, the look of the guy in the meme, it's, it's always so, so good. <laughs> Sorry. More pictures of Jennifer Lawrence that'll make you say, oh, that's not Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> Those are nasty topological shapes. I just love the caption of this. This is so good. This is like something you find on Counts Against Humanity. Four pictures of Jennifer Lawrence. They'll make you say, oh, that's not Jennifer Lawrence. Those are nasty topological shapes. Oh, it's so good. That's such a great meme. Oh, goodness.
Oh, it's hilarious. Thanks to at AA Billa Mimetica. Oh, God. Stupid Doge meme. It's, 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 it's so stupid. I, I just love how he sits there with, with the ears put back. This is one of the best memes popping up in, in the last bunch of years. Zero in division. I just throw math and you simply can't divide by me. Zero in addition. Please help. They are ignoring me. Oh, I love it. So good. So good. Last meme. I got juice. One last meme and then we are done with the meme review. Alexandre Bali, my boy, my dear Facebook boy, lol, Taurus. It's just, it's funny because it's really stupid. It's, it's like seriously retarded and it's so low effort, but, but it somehow does its job as being a meme. I know. <laughs> this is best humor for mentally disabled people like me. It's amazing. And this concludes the meme review. Meme review. But before we actually end the video, I would like to talk about STEM merch from the beginning. So Sexstar and me have worked for the past few weeks on our shop STEM merch. You can find it down there in the description and also hopefully up there in the info box and the pinned comments. So a bunch of weeks ago, I asked Sexstar69, okay, he's my business partner, you could say, if he would be interested in building up an online store with me. And the main reason for this was because of this boy right here, Engineering Clock. Thing is, this was a limited time offer, but there was a high demand for it. Many people didn't have money due to Corona and whatsoever or are still on the lookout for a Christmas present. And I wanted to sell this beauty right here indefinitely with without limits and hopefully also without any kind of pre-order in the near future. Also an engineering wristwatches, etc. 3D printed models, totally made by ourselves. No drop shipping, etc. And this is basically the idea behind STEM merch. So what we want to do is we want to sell items that you don't normally find in other online shops like the engineering clock. It's an original one from this channel. Or like 3D printed models that you can't really find in any other STEM shop out there. They are models created by us or designs created by us. Just like my designs from this channel, they are basically getting transferred over to STEM merch, some of them. And there are also going to be new designs over there that are totally exclusive, like our fractal collection other science toys, you can find client bottles over in STEM merch, phone cases, etc. And we are going to expand our repertoire over time. And like I said before, at first we are going to do a bunch of drop shipping. This is our sales model at the moment, but we want to get away from drop shipping and start producing everything on our own over time. Be it wave pendulums, Newton's cradles, any other kind, electrical engineering toys, whatsoever bunch of stuff. We want to sell it to you and we want to produce it. This is what we want to do and I hope you are going to enjoy this concept. Also there's a bunch of things over on STEM merch that are kind of unique, okay? So maybe for example the design request page. You can go over there and if you for example find something that you want to have on a t-shirt like your most favorite formula or you have seen a meme on my uncomfortably cursed math memes page, you want to have it on a t-shirt. Contact me and Zach or my wife Lisa, she's also working there and we are going to get the job done. We are going to create a design for you and then you can have your very own t-shirt with the Euler Lacrosse e equations on there or something completely different. Three up to you. Contact us and we are going to get the design done for you. Also there are a bunch of hidden codes there. So there's like this really famous um, game code. So from the 80s and 90s, maybe you know about it. If you type this into our website, you're going to be redirected to a secret page. So a bunch of easter eggs over there, a bunch of memes hidden using other um, key combinations. It's a lot of fun. So go over to STEM merch and see if there's something for you. You are going to support me and also Sexstar if you buy something on STEM merch. And we see it as a good opportunity to provide our community and also the whole STEM community in general with a bunch of new products that you can find normally on the web. So yeah, try out STEM merch, see if it's something for you and you can get 7% of your complete order 
over the whole course of this weekend using the code STEM merch. This includes also the engineering clock here. Just saying. I thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, recommend channel like. Everyone support the channel a bit more. There's STEM merch, also Patreon, etc. Now until the next video, I wish you guys a flamble day. Ciao, love you guys, appreciate you.